Could you at least wait until tomorrow? I can't sit across the table from her withholding this sort of information. The whole point of this dinner party was to cheer them up. But wouldn't it be worse not to say anything? She deserves to know. Oh, no. Ah, here we go. Ah, uh, Carl, these photos, man, they're amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for inviting us. This is exactly what we need. Oh, good, good. <laughs> Priya, I know the last few weeks have been really hard for you. Oh, no, 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 we're not going to talk about that at all. Yeah, we made a pact with each other on our way over. Mm-hmm. Tonight is just about enjoying the company of two good friends. Yeah, for the next few hours, Priya's problems don't exist. Yeah. <laughs> well, tie her up. There's a selection of poles to choose from. I'm not tying her up. You go and get the roster and we'll do it out here. Who was the inspired boss's name again? Or you could just give me... No shifts over the next two weeks, and then the Gidget on duty, sorry, manager, would have to cover me herself. Fine. I will be right back. And don't even think about trying to give me all those earlies. I'm just returning the car now. Yep. Okay, I'll see you soon. Watch out! You know our date's not until later tonight. Uh, not that I'm not happy to see you right now. Yeah, um, there's not going to be a date. I'm a teacher. I can't go out with you. But we made a deal. Yeah, I know that. And I'm really sorry, and I appreciated your help with Bossy, but look, this can't happen. It's just one date. I promise, if you don't have a great time, I'll never bother you again. Look, not that long ago, I made a huge mistake. I can't do that again. You think about things too much. Let's go out tonight, we'll just hang out, we'll have fun. Mason, this can't happen. From Sheila. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? I don't know. What I can tell you, though, is my dad was very happy with me. Paul Robinson, happy with you. Hope you got that in writing. Come on, he's not that bad. Him pushing me is his way of showing that he cares. Yeah, fine, I just wish you didn't care so much. Mm. Thank you for meeting with me. Oh, I couldn't believe it when you called. For a minute, I thought you were trying to have another crack at me. You and I both know that that never happened. And that is what you need to tell the board and the Department of Education, that nothing ever happened between us. Sorry, no can do. Why are you punishing me? How do you think it felt when the police turned up on my door? You crossed a line, Brian. I had to report you. Explaining it to my son. My wife, how do you think that went down? So, what, you dumped me in it to save yourself? Uh, you made the decision to involve other people, not me. Look, we can't change what's happened in the past, but you can choose to do the right thing now. I'm begging you, Brian, this is my life you're playing with. <laughs> 